to, you know, to go over there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I went over there, but I didn't know that it was um, a different owner. Mm -hmm. So it, I, it's basically franchise. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll go over here. Went over there, everything was just so, it was not, it was it was definitely different. Um, I had a bigger spot, and of course, you know, the price was different too. So I was like, my clients, I saw a big difference in my clientele. So I'm like, okay, my business slowed down because people do not like coming to a congested area. And I'm like, man, my clients was complaining about the parking. They had it on. Um, do like this validation thing so whenever you pull up you got to scan it put the code in put your license plate in it was just too aggravating yeah and so after about four months i was like okay something has to change so in september i came right on back over here and i like the jersey because it's out of the way yeah out of the way you don't feel like you're not safe because you know how buckhead it is like when I was there, like even in the parking lot, um, it really is like you looking around, you looking over your shoulder. Yeah, like you literally like hoping, okay, am I gonna get robbed or because somebody stole my car? Oh no, girl, yeah. And so I was like, okay, this is it. This is the last straw. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm hmm. a good vibe and, and what I like the most is like it's top of the line mm -hmm. like you never gonna go in there and it's like a bunch of real friends everybody is up on game down here and I respect that mm -hmm. and um I think a lot of it come from people they know that the people here got a high expectation mm -hmm. and if you gonna stay in business you better be bringing it Oh, the scammers. <laughs> I did not know it was that bad, though. I'm like, wait a minute now. No way. Because I had seen on the, um, I was on Instagram. <laughs> there was a game over by the, I guess, the Brave Stadium over here by Cumberland. Uh -huh. And the um, one? I I been there, the battery. Yeah, the battery. I'm sorry. And so... I saw where they were like, this guy was parking cars, <laughs> and he had on the, um, Oh, they the had the Mercedes-Benz thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how you put on everything? I'm like, what are y'all doing with people's cars? You know what I'm saying? So basically, and then they were like, oh, we just want him to turn in the money. He is not, I said, this is just so crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, who does that? Damn, I work at the hospital. truck, I see all the police. I'm like, well, what's going on? Girl, 
Somebody done called the police because it's a homeless person trying to set up a tent. I said, <laughs> oh, they was not having it. I'm like, I do respect that. You know, I'm bad that they don't allow people to come in because if you allow people to come in and start doing stuff like that, they're going to keep doing it. Yeah, so they all walk the side of the road that yeah, I had this, um, when I was looking for a place to go down here, somebody recommended me to go downtown. So I was open, you know what I'm saying? You never know until you try. So I went down there and I saw it on paper. I was like, oh no. Yeah. And then, um, what's that area called where um, Rashida the restaurant is? I think it was called the Bistro or something. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what they call that area. Yeah, it's a name for it because they got clubs right there too. Mm hmm. On that street. I forget what that place called. So when I went there, I was like, you know, I really don't like this area. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it was, I felt like I was going to get robbed. <laughs> because I'm like, there's so many people walking around. And then the ladies, um, it was like, she had like a garage door type of thing seen her going on. So basically, if people walking by, you could just walk in there by. Like, say you you shopping at a flea market or something, and you could just walk in. And I'm like, how y'all work like this? So it was basically like an open concept. I'm like, I could not work in that area because it's like, I have clients that have alopecia and I'm like, I can't have them coming in here and people just walking around like that. Mm -hmm. So that was a no-go for me. And so she had sweets, but, and, and sweets big down here. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm from South Carolina. We ain't got nothing like that down there. And so she, um... But her suites was underground. So basically her her salon had a two level. And it was nice, but the suites that were underground, you don't have like no sunshine, you don't got no windows. And I'm like, no, I feel claustrophobic in here. And then Rashida and Rest. I forget what that area called, cause it it got a name. Yeah, it does. They gon' they gon' pop up when you ain't thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, look it up. They gon' buy it. Street. Yes. That's what they call yes. it. Yes. 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 Because the restaurant is two chains restaurant. Getting a curly ball, and she gonna be gonna be using three packs of Empire, and she getting color too. So I'm so excited to see how it's gonna turn out. And then I'm gonna do a lace closure on her. And it's just a four by four. How everybody doing today?
said I was gonna try to go live more because I think it's you know better. But I also have a video that I'm posting. I'll be posting it. I think it's gonna be Saturday. And I have it on Premiere. So if you're on here and you wanna see some razor cutting, that would be a nice video. <laughs> So, yeah. But I do thank y'all for subscribing, being a part of the community. I appreciate y'all. I know. I can't wait till I finish either because I never did this style in color. I've done it with highlights, but never in color. So yeah, if anybody don't know or just joining in, I am um, doing a lace closure curly bob. And I already bleached and plucked this closer before she got here. And that's one thing that I do whenever I am um, on my normal work day, I'll go ahead and prep. I'll, I take one day out of the month and I'll prep all of my closures for the entire month because it saves time whenever your clients come in because I am anti-allowing my clients to sit in the salon all day. So I just go ahead and try to, whatever I can do beforehand, that's what I do. And maybe y'all can try that too because it'll slow you down a lot if you wait until your client get there. You got to bleach your closure, pluck the closure. So it's just better for me to just go ahead and um, <clears throat> have, have the closures ready. And if y'all have any questions, make sure y'all put it in the comment section. As I see them, I'll try to answer them. But after I do... After I do the um the video, I'll do a QA at the end so y'all can ask me any questions. Hold on one second, I'm about to go wash this closure real quick. Probably about two minutes. It's already bleached. So I'm going to use my concealer. Um, this is a uh, Kiss Duo. And all I'm going to do is just put it on the back of the closure just so that it matches her skin tone. And she, the color I'm using is the level 14. doing is just putting it on there it don't have to be no particular certain way you can just put it on there i can't find my wide brush usually i use a wide like a foundation brush to do this but i cannot find it so i'm just going along <laughs> so yeah you just put it on there you don't have to put it all the way see you can see the difference 
but it's brown. It's kind of opaque there and brown here. So you'll know. Because this is um, invisible, an invisible closure, not HD, it's invisible. If you really do some good plucking on these, you can make them look really, really nice. And this is my temptation. Now do cut. Hi. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for tuning in. So I'm just cutting the tabs off. So, cut the tabs off so it's seamless. y'all so much make sure y'all sharing and letting me know give me your feedback what y'all thinking what's on your mind so that i know what to do my client is still underneath the dryer so i'll be taking her out in a minute um then i'm gonna warn y'all um uh i'm having a brain frog fog so her part is going to be on the left side. So it's going to be like an awkward view. It's going to be an awkward view. So, just letting y'all know. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to get it on there. But I think, I think, I'm trying to think, do I have my tripod? I have a tripod. So that, um, thank you, Cooking with Didi. Anywhere from 200 to 250. Um, I think I have a tripod in the car. And y'all hold, hold tight. I'm going to go get my tripod so that y'all can see. Because it's kind of hard and awkward to see whenever um, it's on the left side. Now, if I was on the right side, I could keep y'all right here. But I need... I'm going to go get my tripod. So, hang tight for like two minutes. I'm going to go get my tripod so that y'all can see. located in Atlanta.
When you know how sea moss be slimy, mm-hmm. his ain't like that. Like, you really cannot taste it. Mm-hmm. But he do make, like, the raw one where you, it's about, like, applesauce. Mm-hmm. I'll put it like that. I think I had that uh, order on mine. Mm-hmm. Now, I did try the, um, the sea moss um, capsule. Like, I bought off Amazon. Uh-huh. It was cool, but I really didn't see a difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I be trying to find stuff that give me energy because I'm always exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> always exhausted. Well, you only feed a lot. I do. Yeah. Some days I've been here all day, but mm-hmm. lately I've been getting up early so that I can be out early. Mm-hmm. What time you get out here? I try not to be here no later like seven. Mm-hmm. Because I don't like being off at five, around five, because you don't have traffic. Yeah. yeah. Traffic is the worst. So I'm like, well, if I'm going to fight traffic, I might well just stay to the shop yeah. <laughs> until the traffic is kind of eased up because it be hectic around that yeah. time. So I was. Especially just like, leaving here, then going to Buckhead. Man, listen. Yeah. Like, you have to plan your day around the traffic. You do, you do, especially like if I'm if I know I got to run errands, mm-hmm. I have to go first thing in the morning mm-hmm. when nobody is out. And even then, you can't even go out before eight o'clock because you're gonna hear the school and work traffic. You know? mm-hmm. I just hate both here don't have a Walmart. They don't? No. Girl. Which one you have to go to? I have to either go to Shambly, but since I've been over here, like, I'll go to Marietta. Mm Mm-hmm. Because it's it's in the middle. Mm Mm-hmm. So ain't no need of me passing through Buckhead and go to Shambly when I could just stop in Marietta. Mm Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Most of the time, I be stopping at that Marshalls and Home Goods. Mm-hmm. Lord, that, that's my issue. <laughs> I cannot pass the Marshalls without stopping. Yeah. You know, look at Sweet Wee. 
<laughs> just the first one I had in a while. Right. What you normally wear, like braids? Honey, I just had some braids. I had to take them out. They were too tight. What kind of braids you had? I had one for the African one. And I asked for, um, not They did not be not I asked for <laughs> mid-band. Your braids were to my ass. Oh my god. I had went to Aruba in January. Mm-hmm. And um I wanted some braids for the trip. Right. They was hurting my damn neck. I was like, <laughs> let me take these out. And I was like, I was trying to keep them till Valentine's right. Day. And I was like, no, I can take these out. They just give me another style. But um I usually just throw a wig on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My hair is so soft and I had weight loss surgery, so I've had okay. some shedding. Okay. I, so, that is common because yeah. some people, that's their side effect. Mm-hmm. That's their side effect. So my hair has really been a lot. And then the braids. Hell, yeah, I'm thinking about getting some um, hair from him. I'm thinking about it. Well, I know you ain't going to Turkey. No. I actually, um, <laughs> it's a place here in Atlanta that I think I'm going to do a consultation and see how much it is. Mm-hmm. Cause those braids, they really, I'm just like, why my hair is so thin? Cause my hair is naturally curly, right. real soft. Right. So I used to wear my natural hair a lot, mm-hmm. but um, since moving up here, I had stopped. Hey, Mamie. Hey, Mamie. Hey, Mamie. Hey, Mamie. Hey, losing weight actually before the surgery because they put you on this two week diet liquid diet right so i lost 28 pounds on that what mm-hmm. and um within six months i lost 100 pounds it's just been falling off falling off mm-hmm. so when you initially got the surgery like what was your like how did you feel um well what it does you know it makes your stomach smaller it's the size of a banana so you can't eat that much but right. that's your restriction right there that's how you lose the weight mm-hmm. so i still don't eat that much after mm-hmm. three years um but make sure you take your vitamins and drink water so you don't get dehydrated but i feel good i feel good i can buy clothes yeah well i'm still healthy i still got healthy Mm-hmm. It's not, not what it used to be. Mm-hmm. That ass is ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. And it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was like, Lord. So at what point did you say, all right, that's it? I, I, had, broke my, I had broke my ankle. Yes, okay, your ankle. And I was out of work for six months, and I gained some weight. I probably gained about 50 pounds. Mm-hmm. And I always been thick and bottom heavy. So when I was trying to recover from my ankle injury and going back to work, being a nurse, being on my feet all the time, it was just too much. And um, when COVID happened, because I broke my ankle in 2019, and then COVID was like right at the beginning of 2020. Mm-hmm. I was working through that, but then, um, you know, they were sending a lot of nurses to Texas to work. Okay. And we were making like 10000 a week. I know they was paying so much money during COVID. And I went out there, and they had a lot of nurses on standby. And just so happened, I was one of the nurses. So mm-hmm. I was sitting in the hotel room. I was like, shit, I'm gonna... I had been thinking about it anyway. Mm-hmm. And shit, I made my appointment, and I went to Mexico. You went to Mexico? Mm-hmm. I how... Okay, so how was that experience like? Because... You know, it was easy. getting that, that out of state stuff. Cause I went to the DR too, mm-hmm. but I I'm scared of Mexico. <laughs> it was real simple. Like they all spoke English. It was right um in Tijuana, so that's right down from um San Diego. So I flew okay. to San Diego and they picked me up in San Diego from the airport and we drove across the border. So you was with them the entire time. Mm-hmm. What about your recovery? Like did you was that a car? Let me tell you. When I got there, I spent one day at the beach house. The next day I had surgery. When I was in the at the beach house, I saw this girl, cause she had just had surgery. Mm-hmm. And she said she had it two days ago, and she was up walking fine. So I was like, okay. 
So, I had the surgery. I stayed in the hospital one night. Mm -hmm. They did some tests the next day. I went back to the hotel. Stayed another day, and I went home. Mm -hmm. It was simple. Um, How many days were you there? I think four. Okay. Four or five. And I'm a nurse, so I know what to look for. Right. I took my own stitches out. You know. Do do it leave you with a big decision? Or? No, it's like four. Little, if you ever see somebody with four little scars on their stomach, mm -hmm. they had the surgery. Cause it's laparoscopic. Now see, I got them scars too, but I had my gallbladder removed. Yep, it's the same it's kind the same of scars. Yep. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Same kind of scars. Yep, four or five. What was the the was it? Inexpensive or? Uh, it's actually cheaper um, overseas. Uh, I paid, it was 5500 What am I doing? 5300 And I ended up paying 58 because I wanted the celebrity suite. They had a suite. Okay. Had to recover it. Well, the service center. It was in house. Center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you weren't like, you know, hospital setting. You was like mm -hmm. in a clinic type of vibe. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it was a suite. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, how did you, um, how did you decide on your doctor? I researched. I knew somebody who had went to Mexico, but they didn't go to that particular place. But I just researched and researched, and I found this place, and they had a Facebook group. So I joined the Facebook group, and people talk about their experiences. Mm -hmm. And that's how I decided. I looked at the reviews. I checked the doctor out. Right. So they had good reviews all the way around. So that's how I decided. And I'm telling you, like since I've been posting my weight loss, so many people I know, I can count on my hands and my feet three <laughs> times. The, pe the amount of people that don't went ahead and started since I went ahead. Wow. Now, I do know someone else who had it. Um, it's a guy. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. My son Okay. Yeah, I know this guy that got it. Um, he dropped weight so fast, mm -hmm. so fast. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's almost scary. You know what I'm saying? To see that much weight go at one time because it don't give you time to talk it. Right. So that's just like you left with skin, mm -hmm. and so that's my only thing with it. And my thing is, I didn't. I don't I have that little skin like that. My belly, I got a little skin on my ass, but it's not bad. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen people with a lot of little skin, because a lot of people ask me, did you get the skin removed? No. They offer that there too? Yeah, they do. But mm -hmm. you, you get that, you know, later on. Right. But um, I did get my breasts done, so they don't the first thing. What so. did you have done to your breasts? Just implants. So, okay, so how was that? That was so good. And you got all this done on the same day. I know. I didn't get the implant until after a year. Okay, after yeah, a year. I waited a year. Okay. And they were so clay and droopy. I was like, oh, because of the surgery? Yeah, and that's the first thing I had to get done. Oh, and I got it done up here and everything. Mm hmm. Over here in Atlanta. Yeah. I mean, okay. Um, it's a white doctor. Okay. okay. I know another one. Yeah, the Tommy Club. You can break some plant in this, but I didn't want to do the I didn't want to do both at the same time. Mm-hmm. Because I knew I didn't want to take out work like that. How was your recovery? Like it was fine. I just couldn't lift or pull anything. Right. For, um, I think about six to eight weeks. Mm hmm So, the job I was at, I just did tell them, I got to work. <laughs> I just said, I was working a bunch of white folks. I didn't tell them I had Right. So, I just did, I, I have a bad thing. I can't do anything. You can't pull no faces. Mm -hmm. That's good though. 
I mean, I'm all for, you know, being, because, you know, I'm a surgery vet too. So yeah. it's like for me, I'm all for it. If it's going to empower you, and make you feel that I, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it more expensive here? Yeah, because um, I know some people who had it done here with their insurance and stuff. It was like $58,000. $58,000? Yeah, they got shot by the seat. I was like, Ain't no, no way. way. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> no, somebody, they got a good medical bill in Coda because the they ain't no way. The here in America, they really rip people off. And I'm in the healthcare field. Mm -hmm. They real people off like real. I don't know because there's no way that type of surgery is fifty eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Ain't no way. Mm -hmm. Was she satisfied with her results? Oh yeah, but she was very impatient. Like people be inboxing me asking questions and stuff, and she used to inbox me like all the time. Like, mama, what's going on? What was her weight? Um, I think she was three something too. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, my weight just fell off so fast. People were right. like, what you doing? What? I, I really didn't eat that much to begin with. Right. And the night shift worker. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I know. You just have to be patient. Right. And, you know, everybody's different. No. Maybe you should do like a surgery consultant with what you do since mm -hmm. you're already helping people because some people need to know and people got questions because when you think about surgery, mm -hmm. it's like everybody's scared. I'm going to start a YouTube. <laughs> huh? I'm going to start yeah, YouTube. Yeah, start your YouTube channel like because people is very... I should have did it, but I'm shy about the video type thing. But Why are you shy? I'm just shy. Girl, I can talk to people like this, but right. being on camera, <laughs> I'm like, oh Lord, I, I want to cut. Girl, <laughs> and you just being transparent. <laughs> and, um, and the thing about it is, like, and I just was saying this morning, like, you have to be relatable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to be doing some lifestyle videos and let people see exactly who you are, what goes on. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you can do it. And yeah. if you're doing relatable content, people are going to support you. Yeah, I know, like, you know how Instagram is. I can really say that I'm on there, but I really just probably make it one or two times a week and keep going. Because I don't lost the weight. It's like, what, what can I do? Right. But you have a journey. Like, yeah. You have a journey. They didn't want to know. I just had this older lady inbox me. Mm hmm. She looked like she about six or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, okay. Yeah, they be telling me I inspire and stuff. Oh, I'm like, wow. It's inspiring, like, because people, you know, we fight these, these private battles that people never know about. And you never know your story can change somebody's life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I shouldn't be doing it. It ain't never too late. I mean, I'm gonna do it <laughs> it's never too late because I thought about doing, um, you know, a surgery um, company mm -hmm. as far as like recovery, mm -hmm. that type of thing, get a house, you know, help the girls whenever they get a surgery. Mm -hmm. But then I kind of was like, no, I don't want to do that because I'm like, I just want to stay in a career that I like. Mm -hmm. I know a nurse who does that to recover. Mm -hmm. I probably could do that too. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> no, I listen. I said this year, my goal is to stop procrastinating. Mm -hmm. You gotta stop it. You can't yeah, get nothing done procrastinating. I got to stop saying I'm a procrastinator too. <laughs> yes, because you speak it. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah. And now I'll get up first thing in the morning. You know, like have a routine yeah. where you can not just wake up and hit the floor and, oh God, I got to go to work, you know, yeah. but have fun and enjoying what you do. Mm -hmm. So I find that, you know, like when I go ahead and get up, if I, I get up at five, mm -hmm. go to the gym, mm -hmm. do what 
I gotta do. Get on my computer, do my content. Yeah, I do need to do have a routine. Yeah, you gotta get a routine. And then stick to it. Mm -hmm. And so when I know I need to get up. I, the night before, I put my phone somewhere where I can't reach it. Mm -hmm. That way, I got to get up because the phone is, you know, the long one. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I had to start like not looking at my phone first thing when I wake up mm -hmm. because it's like I used to get tired of looking at other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, I limit myself to like 30 minutes. Post what you got to post and get on off. Yeah. I So cool. So you can do like vlog type stuff, mm -hmm. travel. That'd be nice. I watch. <laughs> I watch. Well, me doing the hair. Um, I'm gonna get a punch of cat. Mm -hmm. But I really want to be. I haven't really seen that many women, black women. They go to Turkey, but I haven't really seen a lot of black women documenting it from the United States. Right. Cause I'm nervous. By any doctor that's mm -hmm. close by, especially Atlanta, mm -hmm. because it's like I feel like they don't really be experienced like that, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I be nervous because I'm like, uh, -huh. I'll go to Miami first mm -hmm. before I even trust anybody down here. Mm -hmm. What about um? You say you went to the VR. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know um, there's a girl I follow. She had to get some blood. Her aunt was with her dog. Okay. Yeah. Her name was Yeah, because I had to get a blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. um, I really was so like, you know, getting blood out of a foreign country. Mm -hmm. But I needed it, so. Who you went to? Felix. That ain't the one that was talking about this. You probably talking about this, you know. Okay. Um, I know a lot of people be going over there to her. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with it, but my whole thing was I wanted to go to someone who does good with the scars. Like, I, mm -hmm. I can't handle the scars. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't even about to even do that. Some people just scar me, you know. It do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord, I was just about to say, you Lord, one of my friends, her, um, mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about all of her. Yeah. So I'm just like, they got treatment. Yeah, that. and that's what she's going to do. Mm -hmm. Because, like you said, some people are no prone. prone to getting keloids and stuff. And I had a keloid mm -hmm. um, for my. Chin, chin, um, mm -hmm. Michael. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna work. Yeah. Did you put something on it? Um, I got some power stars in my um, breasts. But that you can't tape. Tape. Mm -hmm. that, that silicone tape is mm -hmm. what really helped me. And it just went back flat. Like, at first I was like, oh my God, it's mm -hmm. gonna keep growing, it's gonna keep growing. Mm -hmm. But it went away. I kept that silicone tape on it. Mm -hmm. Nothing. There was this thing I bought off Amazon. I think it's called Moderna. Mm -hmm. I, I use that, and mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. we in business now. I pretty much can hide mine, though. For real. Yeah. play too much they like do, they play too patience. much yeah like oh, they be on. lying i think they they be um putting editing their pictures that they put on instagram oh, 
Mm-hmm. Because I'll read the comments. I'll read the comments, and I have not. I don't really see people saying, "Oh yeah, they, you know, they did anything on me." They would be believing them probably. The bad review. I I saw one comment, and the girl was like, <laughs> "She was like, who was this doctor?" Because I went in there and left out the same way I came. Oh, no. I was like, "Oh my god." It was so funny. And then they had influencers that do. Yes, and I meant to go back on there to see that. Um, it was like a, it's that girl that be dancing on TikTok. You ain't saw her. She kind of big, like I forget her name, but she be doing like those dances, and she on um, kind of kind of heavy set, dark skin. I you know they did that girl from Bad Girls Club, Rolling Coley, or whatever. I, mean. I don't really watch that show. Right. I don't. I don't even have a TV in my house because I don't like to be distracted. But um, yeah. If you go on there, I think they posted a video yesterday. They got one in Atlanta, don't they? They got two um facilities this in Atlanta. Miami. Okay, you gonna have to go to the one that say um. So it'll have like you'll know when you own it because it'll say um a million. They got like one point one million dollars. Now that's the official official page. Mm hmm. I'm gonna say gold mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody they gotta go botch slash surgery. <laughs> So, how I find it, you can type in Gold Special Surgery in Google. Oh, Google. Yeah, type it in Google because I had trouble finding it, like trying to put it on there like that, too. Mm-hmm. Atlanta. Oh, do Atlanta? I've seen it pop up this time. Mm-hmm. Okay, click on it. This right here? I think I know it. That's it. So, and scroll up. Scroll up to that scroll up. Yes, and you can go to it from there. Them hair plants, implants. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Well, they'll make you shake. But you got a chance for hair. Mm-hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared. I think everybody doesn't have some little thin it is and go. I want to cut my hair off again because all I wear is wigs. Um, and all I do is literally, I get my braids done every two weeks and get it braided right back down. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I might as well cut all my hair off and just go bald. <laughs> A lot of people do that after surgery, too, but I don't want to cut all my hair off. Mm-hmm. Your hair long. Your hair Girl, is so I, long. Girl, I cut it off. I did cut it short. Because it was, it was so hard and rough. I was like, oh, my God, I can't do this. So I cut all my hair off. Let me see if I can find a picture. I posted it on I do not be on snap. I be on snap using they filters. <laughs> but I don't even post nothing on there. Because I hate what I hate most about Snapchat is you don't know who is who. Because of them little avatar things. My Snapchat is private. Well, it's private. Yeah, that's that's my pet peeve with Snapchat. Because I'm like, I don't know who this is. Y'all don't look like these little things. Yeah. <laughs> so I do not want to talk to nobody on Snapchat. Yeah, I think my ex just sent me a request on there. Your ex? Mm-hmm. The name sounds familiar, and but it was a white boy, white avatar, and I said no. 
That probably him. <laughs> <laughs> no, my intuition told me it was him. Look, your intuition told me it was him. Look, <laughs> No Because you will never be able to look at me and know that I weigh right at 195. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for me, I'm gonna do one, get down the Child, I just time. chopped that shit off. I was Girl! <laughs> I just chopped it off. Ain't no way. I just chopped it off myself. But it's cute though. Yeah. And you did some color. See, you got a good grip of hair. Yeah, I always wear my hair color. But I haven't colored it since I had the surgery because. Just not as thick as it used to be. So mm -hmm. I'm trying. One of my coworkers told me to get this stuff. Um, and I've just been taking it for about two weeks now. Um, what is it? Where you got it from? Amazon. Yeah, Amazon, Amazon be having everything. This buying it. I've been drinking it. Drinking it. Mm -hmm. I am not good with drinking stuff. It's mango flavor. It don't taste that bad. But I can tell it's making my nails grow. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I don't know. When did you start to see it? How long you think it? So I just started to see results. From the nails? Yeah. It didn't I take mean, long. Because you say you was taking it, so I was trying to feel like how long did you start to notice um, that it was working? I'll say about a week. Okay. Cause your nails get brittle too. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first had the procedure, I had um, some stiletto nails. Mm -hmm. And I cracked one of them, and it broke like right there. I was like, Hell, no, no way. I ain't getting no more nails. <laughs> no, no, no. no way. Yeah, I ain't got no nails in it too. But yeah, it, you like have vitamin uh, deficiencies when you have it surgery because you're not eating. So you have to take vitamins to make right. sure you get your nutrients in. Right. So. And everybody's different because I got my best friend had it done. And her hair has always been thick, but she didn't really know that. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, everybody, you know, body is different. So it's like you really just get it in however whatever the side effects is that's i was like is. shit i'd rather i wear a wig fuck that <laughs> i'm good okay but now i want to wear my hair so I don't hair is so pretty like people wish they could have that great hair and like your curl pattern is so pretty yeah i used to post a lot with my natural hair mm -hmm. and i influenced people to do that shit too in my long time i don't know that's <laughs> So I know I can do something. Mm -hmm. You just see people emulating you. You know, I'm sure in you do In a positive too. way. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the thing, in a positive way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I definitely think you should make a YouTube on that TV. <gasps> I'm going around to around that People want to know. I know, I need to. I got to get up with my shyness. <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. And a lot of men follow me, too. Mm -hmm. That ass is big. <laughs> so they always like to say, ooh, I like the before better. I'm like, well, okay, the before ain't here no more. The before so, is out there doing and she ain't coming back, so <laughs> don't disregard what I done did. Okay. Because you like big girls. Okay, that's cool. They do be trying to come down on people. Mm-hmm. They do. More cushion, for cushion. Mm -hmm. I had a, um, when I was in Aruba, I was in Aruba in January. So 
my ass, I post a video. You know, I like the laughing joke. Uh, me and my baby stood walking on the beach and I was digging the cheese out my ass. What? Laughing, yeah. And I told them, I was like, uh, what I say? Wait a minute. <laughs> Girl, that shit got a million views. You lying. I'm not lying. Ain't no way. I'm not lying. I was like, oh my God. Wait, you, I got to see it. People from Africa, Russia <laughs> was commenting. <laughs> see, look. Play the video. Play the video. I got to see it. Whoa. Oh, you can't even see it. Because the comments are all on it. Lord have mercy. But yeah, that video went viral. I was like, oh my God. It was, it's actually pretty, you know what I'm saying? Listen, a lot of times when I... Oh my God. <laughs> you know? Because the comment said transparency moment. Loose skin and say it like, it don't bother me. Right. I don't care. But, um like you look like a wrinkled ass prune i'm like what oh, a wrinkle up prune yes Ain't they no were saying way. all kind of stuff <laughs> it was funny but right if i'm in a uber where you at exactly so the internet always got an opinion even mm -hmm. on my modeling page um people come for me all the time i just they be honestly, haters they yeah they come for me all the time when i'm modeling and mm -hmm. doing my acting and stuff mm -hmm. i'm like man both so i just learned to um Do don't you, even look at my comments is, yep is it more from women or men both yeah, maybe both that's crazy ain't it maybe both they're like oh look at her you know my butt and this one woman said something about me and this bitch looked at the mess she looked at them and them the ones that come me. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you ain't got the confidence to do it, you want to try to knock me down. Right. Because when my when I because I did a Tubi movie too, mm -hmm. so you know they kind of you can see my hips and things. Mm -hmm. Oh, the girl must be took that one clip and ran with it. So mm -hmm. she recorded. She I guess she was home, mm -hmm. and she recorded the um scene off her phone and was like um these tubi movies be tripping me out and then really? yeah some of these tubi movies what be movie tripping was? me out it's called swap out uh -huh. and um she was like these tubi movies be tripping me out and then you know like they put the laughing emojis uh -huh. and then um you know like oh her butt lumpy and uh -huh. i'm like see what i'm saying people just get a kick out of that see what i'm saying like if you feel that way you ain't got to say it right you just want to you know be funny or try to hurt somebody's feelings. Right. Yeah. I got some people right now who told me that I should have worked out and shouldn't have had the surgery. And this bitch don't even got the surgery. She went and got the surgery after she told you that? Yeah. Wow. She's under the dry your butts. In the meantime, I'm going to do a touch up on my next client. But I'll let y'all stay on. I'm not gonna stop the live. So hang tight. I'm finna get my next client. everybody doing thank y'all so much for tuning in i appreciate all the support do me a favor and subscribe to the channel So 
while she's under the dryer, I go ahead and get everything prepped. Um, prepped for when I style her. It helps me to move along a lot quicker when I do it that way. So, yeah. And I'm going to be using the hot iron and then this one inch curling iron to style her. But my next client, she's just getting a touch up. So I'm just revamping her hair. Shopping for gems. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, baby. All right. Hi. Hi. How are y'all doing? Y'all drop in the comments. Where are y'all watching from? Drop your location so everybody know where you're watching from. Thank you so much. Turn around and tell. They get on my nerve. I mean, we would do our folks in. I know. It's just so sad, man. 
I'm not doing my people in for the white people. That ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It is. You got a new style next week? Yeah. <laughs> what style is that? I like didn't know. Cause you don't care about everything. I am. <laughs> you don't care about everything. I am. I think that's my curl. What do you think? You want your curly hair, bitch? You, there's a low maintenance. It is. I'm trying to slow down. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I don't know either. So, did you get, remember you said that, that, um, that, uh, the uh, longer no. hair? It was like longer hair? I did. a low maintenance hairstyle. Okay. Your eyelashes done. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> eyelashes look good. Uh -huh. I want to try some extension so bad. Oh, my eyelashes thin. Like, I never really had, like, no long eyelashes. So it's like, they just be so fine that they fine. And I'm like, I don't want to put those heavy lashes on there and then they fall off. And I ain't got nothing else up there.
I put that on mine. So he when he fall off or whatever, I'm still got last. Right. Uh huh. And it keeps it and it, it grows your last and keeps them strong. I might need to try some of that. Yeah, I think that's what Cause yeah, I really would. To, um, to do a lot of people don't do it. They don't like you know, they lash. That's right. They don't. They don't put the scalp. They don't. And that's why when you take them off, they do fall. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh, the That's who um got me doing my eyelash. She told me. You know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you see other stuff, you know. And so that's what I've been doing. You put on a, with the, the, the eye extensions on? Mm-hmm. Just running across like the eyelid, like. Oh, you brush it on? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Brush it on. Okay. And, um, when I first started, I used to do it, like, practically almost every night for probably about a month, but now I'm just doing it. How long? I might do it now like once every, I might do it once every week, maybe, sometimes I don't even do it, because mine is so strong now, you know, uh uh-huh. That's good. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, I'm never seeing me there. Yeah, I'll make it, I'll, um, uh-huh. And so you just run it, you just run across the eyelashes, you know, even with the, um, the lashes, Uh uh-huh. Because I know, remember you said that you wanted a better quality hair. Mm-hmm. You like this hair? Which one? The one that you have? The one you got in now. Remember you were saying about um, yeah. that saga hair? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one? hair you bought. Yeah. yeah. That's what I like to um.
Put it in my phone. So she is stepping out for a second and then I will finish her up. Oh, y'all, I got to plug y'all up because my phone going dead. <laughs> this live um be be running my battery down. I tried to find my other phone, but I cannot find my other phone. Let me see. I'm going to try to plug this up. I hope my cord reach. I'm going to figure this out. You just turned 80. Tyler is plural. How you doing? How everybody doing that's on the live? I'm using a 4x4 closure. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, so my client is, she should be back probably like five minutes. Well, probably less than that. Yeah, um, I'm trying to. All right, I'm just doing this. Because my phone is literally, when I started this live, 
my phone was 100%. Now it's down to like a little bar. So I'm trying to pull up my phone so y'all can see. When they printed it, they printed it on um, what you call it, clear on the back. So uh -huh. it's supposed to be solid. So basically, whatever you saw out here would have been vibrant on this side. Uh -huh. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Mm -hmm. So I forgot what I'm gonna eat. I'm always thinking about food. Always. Mm -hmm. I said, you doing good. You quit. Yeah, girl, it don't take long to do hair at all. Mm Watched. I did see that this was the most watched um halftime show I've ever seen. I'm like, okay. Right. He had a residence in. I've been to Vegas one time and it was so hot I could not enjoy it. Okay. I 
So, um, what you want to do, like, what you do, like, every two weeks or maybe once a month? Because your hair is going to last. Yeah, like, it's yeah, going to last. Yeah, it probably be a month. Yeah, like, once a month. I have plans that come once a month. Mm -hmm. The one lady that just left, she come every week. She do. Every <laughs> week. <laughs> well, she just got it uh, touched up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, she got it. I've been doing hair all my life, literally. Now, I started out as a braider. A braider? I was a braider. Mm -hmm. And then, right when I was like, I started getting into like the weave. Probably like when I was like 15, 16. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'm <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and so I just said, it just came natural because I thought I was supposed to be a doctor. Cause mm -hmm. I was wanting to do like pathology because mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to be on the scene when <laughs> I hate to say when people die. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to go on the scene mm -hmm. like that. And mm -hmm. so I was like, I want to do pathology. I want to be a doctor. And so, you ain't afraid to My um, cousin has a funeral home, and that kind of what got that's what really got me comfortable mm -hmm. um, with dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's because the <laughs> the bodies be so hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's so crazy how our bodies. You know what I'm saying? After, you know, we die. It's just a bell Mm-hmm. We just born it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just born it. She don't even want to go by herself on Yeah, she don't drive at night. Oh, Lord. Oh, 
My youngest 24. Mm-hmm. Don't make no grandma cry. Don't make you no grandma. <laughs> Break the generational curse. Because I had him when I was 16 and my um, youngest when I was 19. Mm hmm. So. At least you got it out of the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, when I posted that video, he, he said, What he say? I immediately blocked you. <laughs> he blocked you? <laughs> you know what? I said, I get it. He said he didn't want to see his mama <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> Lord, he on Instagram, He is Lord. My other son, he don't Is he still in the house with you? Yeah. He How old is he? He's 24. Okay. Yeah, he got to go back to school. Mm-hmm. So I told him, mama, Right, right. That's, I mean, that's no more than right. What he say to me? Um, going to split go up here? Oh, uh, yeah. He's going to go up here. 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 He's going to go up for general hygienic, because it's just the program. That's a, okay. Mm-hmm. He's So, So your grandma dating? She ain't dating, but he he don't want her. And I had told my uncle, I said, yeah, my grandma still got the juice. She talking about juice. Wait. She talking about she got prune juice. Lord have mercy. That's good. She still can, you know, get around and mm-hmm. still got her right mind. The highest grade, but it's a good grade. Is it really? Is it really here? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Is it I 
She mm-hmm. and she she worked in Texas during COVID, mm-hmm. and then she did Chicago, mm-hmm. and now she's in Fayetteville, okay. North Carolina. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. She was trying to find something up here. Mm-hmm. They used to just do that though, but like most of the positions in the hospital. She's been looking. Because oh, okay. she, now she just got on that contract in Fayetteville. Oh, okay. So I don't know how much the contract is, but. Even some of the x ray people they be traveling. Now she, now she was somewhat, she wanted to do some, some, like with the, mm-hmm. the overtime. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So we'll go for it. I mean, at least if you have it. If you tired of being a respiratory therapist, you can take a break. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even with her respiratory therapist, she can do a um, go to work and she can do that. For real? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I was an LPN in the beginning with and it was uh, LPN respiratory therapy. I think it's a track where they go be the RN and you know, all that they did. Mm-hmm. Take a vacation mm. in March. <laughs> okay. I was looking last night because I'm like, all right, I need to see something new. Mm-hmm. But girl, it's like, what I think about going? Um, I'm gonna go somewhere where it's warm mm-hmm. and I don't got to put on a whole lot of clothes. Mm-hmm. But I've been enjoying the weather here lately, though. Oh, yeah. Even if, to me, um, the 60s that's a good spot for me. Because mm-hmm. it's not too hot, not too cold. And I ain't got to put on no big old jacket. Yeah. I'm not saying. I like boots and stuff. And jackets and stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 You want to go out the country? 
Actually, I would probably be in like Bahamas because I'd be in and out of Bahamas anyway. Okay, so you ever been to Bimit? No. Okay, I don't want to speak. Usually I go to Freeport right now, so. Okay. Been screaming. Yeah, we was you out. You got a boat pulling you. Yeah. And he was bouncing us. Girl, you could have flipped off that. That's why I said I was like, oh my god, if I fall off and then you got to wait for him to come back, I was like, oh hell no, oh hell no, God, please, please don't let me fall off this boat, please. <laughs> we was just out there. We won't go out like this. Mm -mm. That's the only excursion we did. I rather did jet skis than that right there. At least you got more control. Mm -hmm. I did jet skis once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I almost fell off. Mm -hmm. My little cousin. Yeah, my son got married in Hawaii. For real? Mm -hmm. Nice. So I almost. My little cousin, he's crazy here too. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> when I was driving, we was good. Then I, it was his turn to drive. Mm -hmm. and sure enough, he hit a wave. He fell completely off. But baby, I was holding on. I had one leg in the water <laughs> and the other leg holding on to the thing. I was like, I'm not yeah. going to fall off this thing. I don't even feel like that. You rode a jet ski before? Uh-uh. Most of anything that's going to be in water. I will not be in attendance. <laughs> and I love the ocean. It's just like, you just don't want oh, to look at it all day. Yeah. Especially in the Bahamas, it's so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've only been to the Bahamas, um, well, Freeport and Nassau on a cruise. I've never seen it. No, Freeport. 
it's chill, but it ain't got as much stuff as Nassau. So do you go and stay on the island for a few days? Mm -hmm. I got a friend with it. A male friend? You know it. Okay, I might need to get me one of them so I can go over there for a few days. Girl. Okay. How you need your male friend? Ciao. Oh. <laughs> Just try to get some pointers. Girl. I met him through modeling. a challenge yeah. I think that because I can just hop over there like see if I feel like going over there this weekend I can yeah. just hop over there and go that's good mm -hmm. that's good I got a friend she I don't know where to Jamaica now she got a friend in Jamaica but she got an Airbnb in Jamaica too mm -hmm. and she just came back but um she just finished up her clinical for nurse practitioner so she was like girl I'm gonna do it again if I went going to this Valentine's Day thing Saturday I was gonna ride with her and what, where it gonna be at again? It's uh, in McDonald's. She just called me too. But I was like, dang, I already paid for this event, so. Yeah, she just left today. But she coming back Sunday. Sunday or Monday. And I'm off to a next Oh, Lord. See, you should have went somewhere. I know, but I had already planned to do this. But she asked. Might have to just find me a friend that's free. Oh, what you say? Which one better? Nassau. Nassau. I need to find me a friend in Nassau. <laughs> Nassau. Yeah. Um, they have a different. Um, I like their. Like paprika, copper, like all that. Copper, yeah. 
Yes, and this is it. So I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll be back probably next week or so, or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I may come on tomorrow. I'll, I have to think about it. And I'll let y'all watch me do hair tomorrow. So, yeah, thank y'all so much.